I'm Elizabeth Horge Freeman. I'm an assistant professor of sociology with the joint appointment in the Institute for the Study of Latin America and the Caribbean. And so I've been at USF for about two and a half years. So I was actually born and raised in Tampa. I'm a fourth generation person from Tampa. So I study families and so family life has always been such a huge part of, of who I am. So it kind of made sense uh, that my research focuses so much on families. One of the most exciting parts of my experience, and really the hallmark of, I think, my time here has been being able to launch and direct the USF in Brazil program. So I've had the chance for the past two years to take a group of students with me uh, to Brazil, and that's been really great. And essentially, both of the institutes focus on education. Their jobs are to help train Afro-Brazilian students to prepare them for college. And so for many of the students, they view English training as a way for them to access uh, social mobility. And so to be able to practice English with our students, that really allowed them to feel as though they were developing a skill that they would need to be successful in the future. I'm really excited about the WLP award because it will help me broaden a project that I've already started. So I have been awarded a Fulbright to go to Brazil from March 2016 until August 2016. Uh, but the original project only focused on one state. With the funding from WLP, I'm hoping to expand the research to the Amazon region of Brazil to be able to pay student stipends for, st for research assistance and to allow them to help with the transcription of the data. I am so grateful to the members of WLP who have decided to invest in this project uh, because I, I think that this commitment to the project will really allow me to develop as a scholar, but will also allow me to produce the type of research that has the potential to transform women's lives at the global scale. My name is Heidi Castaneda and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Anthropology here at USF Tampa. I'm teaching and uh, researching on topics related to medical anthropology and migrant health. I think there's a very interesting intersection between what happens in immigration policy and healthcare access. And so that's an area that I've really been, you know, very um, dedicated to researching further and seeing how these policies impact families and communities here in the United States. And I've also worked in Germany quite extensively. And um, currently I'm also working in Mexico. For many of the women in my studies, they're making health care decisions for the entire family. And especially in the case of immigrant families, about 70% of children in these families are U.S. citizens. And so what was once an immigration or an immigrant health issue actually affects a larger population than simply immigrants themselves. So with this award, I'm going to be expanding the research that I'm currently doing on migration and health, but I'm also looking at an, a new trend, which is the expanding educational opportunities for second generation migrant youth especially those who are dreamers who came to this country as very young children. And what we're seeing is that they're experiencing rapidly expanding opportunities, not only in college, but also within their families and within their communities. And so, not just going to college, but now they're going to graduate school, now they're becoming professionals, now they're becoming faculty themselves. And so, the impact on um, higher education is really the focus of the project that I'm going to be using the award funds for. Well, I think it's important to realize that very small amounts of support actually can have a big impact on research. In addition, I would say that uh, the mentorship of uh, women faculty is a really important piece of the WLP award. It allows us to create a cohort of women who are in the same stages of our careers and who can support each other on campus. And so there's the, the financial support, but I think also um, having um, mentorship opportunities with other faculty members and with peers in our same cohort. I'm Tiffany Chenevel and I'm an Associate Professor of Psychology at USF St. Petersburg. The majority of my research has been in the area of pediatric HIV. I have a joint appointment with the Department of Pediatrics which has afforded me the opportunity to work closely over the years as both a researcher and as a clinician with children and adolescents with HIV and their families. The WLP award is very timely because currently I'm preparing to visit Kenya this summer. So I have a very generous donor whose name is Walter Scott who is funding my research team and I to go to Kenya to visit and collaborate with Springs of Hope Kenya which is an orphanage which is home to many children with HIV and which also sponsors a training program and a self-help project initially designed for women living with HIV. 
So the name of the program is Bagamoyo, which means lay down your heart in Swahili. And this program provides training and employment for women living with HIV. So they sew handbags and they sell them and this helps them to support their children and families. And then long term, ultimately, the program is also designed to help sustain the orphanage. So the WLP funds will be used actually when we get back. So when we return from our travel this summer, the WLP funds will help us to organize and analyze the information that we gather while in Kenya and to plan for the next steps. And also, the WLP funds will help me to support the amazing young women that I mentor by providing undergraduate and graduate research stipends. So I'm very excited about that. I would just like to thank the members of WLP for funding this award. I am absolutely thrilled to be a recipient of this award and incredibly honored to be among such accomplished and inspiring women. And I just love the idea of WLP, which is, you know, women helping women. And I can promise the WLP members that I will pay it forward. <laughs>